everybody. Well, yep, I'm just filling out the rain chart. And it has been the wettest July since I started working here. About four, five, well, fifth season this season. And we're up to 133 mils already, and that's usually the total rainfall we get for July. Averages at about uh, 127 mils. Another there. nine mils. And we've got, uh, we're gonna go down, go and take the cause bag with us. We've got a cause bag today. Morning, ladies. We've got a couple of girls here, a couple of little carvies. And we'll probably leave her with her calf today. She is just calved. Little 23. Catch any calves till dad gets back, so we'll just go for a drive around, check the drains. <coughs> and then we'll go put the, some cause mag on the paddock. Doesn't look like it's gonna rain for a couple of hours, so. Just trying to spread the cause mag. So far from what I've seen, still the same three calves from last, four calves from last night. One's going for a wander, because he can't find mum. It's a good cause bag spread today. They'll get their good bout of it. We've got to pick up some carvies now. Dad still hasn't arrived yet, so I'll go back and pick up the trailer. Since I've met him on the race, miles I'll take him up. Hey, little carvie. Are hey, you pooping on me? Oh, bugger. Well, isn't this the way to travel? Much better. He's had to feed. What a full little carvie. to go. Let's cow on the other side of the motorbike. Let's follow her down to the trailer so she finds a little carvey. One cow, one cow to go. Big, beautiful cow. She's carved too. It's a neighbour, he's putting on some cause mag as well. We wind up our fence now. Girls will be happy in here today. We'll come down and feed them a bale of hay later. Dad's following that first lot of colostrums up. And yeah, we'll go down and check the heifers. See that cow sitting down just behind the black one over there? Yeah. She's carving, so we'll come down and check her once we once we go down and feed out. Put our colostrum girls in the clip tank. Good girls. Heifers have got a few calves today. I counted three. Two over there. And one on the other side of the water trough. I'll go grab the one on the other side of the water trough. Check the drain. Yeah. These two little calves aren't very old. So we're leaving them with them for the day. Quick ears up tomorrow. Two little heifers in the heifer mob. About time the heifers started having heifers. Heifers. The bull count's getting pretty high on the heifer mob. Right, I better finish off with this and go and help them. A little that. bit of water over there on the neighbour's place. More bugger. We've got a bit of water here, but definitely not as much as what he's got. Alright, let's go find some cows and look some moo moos. Too busy admiring these motorbikes. Nice and shiny. Nice and shiny. Uh, what happened, Dad? You had a post? I think I was too far over though, I didn't help. I was like halfway over the track. <laughs> and the cow's gotten away. I was, yeah, slightly. This heifer, that brings our cow numbers that have come in now to 37. We'll be, oh, hi. <laughs> about three or four days time. In about three or four days time we'll be looking at a starting to send some more. Ah there he is. Jordan, Tessa and the kids. Where are they? Ah there they are. Hi! Bunch of kids in Dallas. No.
No COVID. <laughs> COVID. COVID. <Yeah>. COVID. <laughs> Dallas hasn't got COVID. Dallas hasn't got COVID. Uh, Where's McKenzie? Yeah. Over there, over there. Ah. And COVID. <laughs> so happy. Look at the kids, she doesn't even look like she's over it already. Pet the cows, are you? Pet the carvies, hug them. Kenzie, you gonna go pet some carvies too? No. No. Yeah. Let's see how we go. We're gonna sort them out now. He's got and he's holding them in the yard, We're waiting for a couple more cows that are giving Dad a bit of issues out there. Dad has got Mackenzie in Dallas with him, getting the cows in. There we go. Sorted out our colostrum cows. And that's our milking herd there. Alright, let's get these girls through. Come on. The boss and the supervisor. <laughs> Jordan. Yeah, Jordan. Jordan and Tessa's husband. Yeah, Jordan's Tessa's husband. Also, my brother. My older brother. Ugly too. Better looking. <laughs> <laughs> There's our colostrum and penicillin girls all cupped up. Here's one of our penicillin girls, her back left. It's actually looking good now. It's gone down. And here's our other one. She's probably outside of her withholding, but we don't want to chuck her in the vat too early because then you'll have, um, you could get high somatic cell count and we don't need that at the start of the season. We want a nice low somatic cell count. The best way to do that is to make sure their colostrum's all gone through, which is generally takes about eight milkings and to make sure they've fully milked out their, um, their, what do you call it, dry cow, which has uh, been in their system for over nearly two months now. So they should be all right. That's why they recommend you should put eight milkings or four days worth of milk out to the calves, because generally the penicillin is not harsh enough to go to the calves, but it still can give you a grade early on in the season. So. That's why we hold them out for four days. And here's our milking girls. Dad said we won't be putting any milk in the vat till we get at least 30 cows. But it's very hard to get 30 cows in when we're still waiting for our meal feeders to be fixed. But Dad's given them a call just to see how far away they are. It's been about six weeks now, which is not very good, but they are very busy. Yeah, you can do it. Try again. Well done, woohoo! Just right across the paddock, someone forgot to check the gate. Make sure they go the right way. Go on, girls. Back you go, come on. Come on. Come on. That's my fault, come on. Done the wrong way, come on. There you go. All going back. These girls are going into the paddock where everyone was before. Please. There you go, we've had some cows leaking milk. A little heifer. She was flat out leaking. She's had a good little milker. We've actually got our heifers that we've got in so far are behaving quite nicely. Quite lucky. They like their meal. 16? Oh, that's good. The 16 and the milkers mobs. Milking mob. Awesome. <laughs> family washing the cafeteria. The whole family. Oh, they're putting new tits on the cafeteria. Right, Munchkin. What you doing? <laughs> Yeah. Bye, girls. We'll see you all tonight, hey? For another eventful milking. My dad, Tessa McKenzie, and Aaron. Going down to go open the gate so that Jordan can go through with Dallas to feed the cows some abala hay. Let's see if we can catch them going. There they are. They're going to go feed out that abala hay. And I'm currently doing a bomb wash through the plant. So we give it a good wash. Sending through the alkali now, and then we'll put a rinse through 
and then we'll send some acid. Bit of mulch in there, bit of a mess. Nothing a bit of a hose out can't fix. There we are. Plant washed, buckets washed, and cause spreader all washed. And pit washed. Easy peasy. Alright, Dad's here we're gonna go down and we'll go and check on the bulls, see how the swamp looks. Apparently we'll be shifting the bulls too. They've had enough in their little bit where their panic is that they could be grazing is flooded, so we'll go have a look see, see what he means. John and Tessa fed the little carvies in Mackenzie and Dallas. They're looking all happy, sitting out of the sun. And the babies. Good suckies. Cows in the irrigated paddock. There's a good one, they look happy. There's a bit too much grass there, but it's better to give them a break that's too big on these wet days on the clay so that they can back graze. We're quite lucky. We've got quite a bit of grass up on the clay here up the front. He's already been down and checked the cows. We're gonna go down and check the heifers. Jeepers. Beat me to it. I think he's going down well. Not very well flooded. The pumps are going good. Uh, there's the neighbor's cows. He got quite a pred predominantly Jersey herd. Dallas is out of the pen. I told him on the motorbike. Mackenzie's there feeding calves. So is Tessa. Tessa's got a pen. Jordan's got a pen and Mackenzie in the same pen. Dallas is joining Jordan. Tessa's by herself. <laughs> oh, that's all way. Alright. Can hear some cows coming. To the cow shed, please, Dallas. To the cow shed. Thank you, Mackenzie. Keep it going. You're doing great. Keep going, Dallas. Go around the tank circle to the cow shed. It's a race.
It's a race. Go, go, go. Who's going to win? Girls are off. These are our milkers. Getting ready to bring the colostrums in now. Get in here. Collecting some nice buckets of warm colostrum for the calves. I love it on today's cows at this calf. It's us all done and dusted. All finished. Calves fed, cows milked. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, my doy one. Oh. Then you're in the way. Oh. <laughs> Makes it easier. Now yeah, everyone's heading home. Right, like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the morning. Thank you. There you go, Dad. Shoot's all fixed up. They did a good job of it. And we just checked the pump. That's clean as. Should be going good. The water level is going down, which is a great sign. The swamp's flying really well. She's the old floodgates right out now.